Hey guys, it's Cynthia Maynard here, and I was going through um, cleaning some things up and found, it's nothing like shopping in your craft room, um, found these that I had gotten at this um, sort of scrap place we have here in Ann Arbor, and they're just little thick chipboard pieces. They might even be several pieces glued together, kind of looks that way. Um, but anyway, they're nice and thick, and I thought I would kind of experiment with some art tiles. It's something that I've been looking at, and as I'm getting into journaling and things like that, as well as my other things that I do, I thought, you know, that would be something like little mini pieces of little art. And so I thought that was fun. So I'll give it a whirl. So I've got some gesso here and I'm just going to kind of go ahead. This will provide both, you know, a lightened, lightened, you know, a white backing as well as this chipboard is extremely porous. And so at this point, if you paint into there, it can get really... Um, it'll absorb a lot of your paint, so it kind of provides a little backdrop there. I've got an old, I always use an old, it's, it's even, it's like a stippling brush, but it's old and nappy, and uh, that way we don't ruin our good brushes. So you can use your finger too, um, which I've done. <laughs> And we're not even looking for complete coverage necessarily. Um, just trying to get some, um, you know, got some yeah, my stuff on my sides is a little gooey here. Uh, all right, so just this way and that, just kind of think of it as a primer. That helps. And the sky's the limit, really. I mean, you can use any sort of, um, you know, you can paint on here, you can put tissue paper on here, you can um, die cuts, uh, ephemera, jewelry findings, um, because it's all going to kind of get sealed in some, like, you know, um, glossy accent type um, medium there. Okay, I just grabbed a few inks. Um, the Distress inks are a little more transparent, so that's why I grabbed that. Um, I've got here worn lipstick. So I'm kind of looking for a pinky minty feel. Um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just use a sponge and just kind of dab. I'm not looking for anything sort of thick. Again, it's, it's all about layering like cooking. Layers of flavor. Like my Prima stamps. I think they're I'm pretty sure they're Prima. Um, and you can just grab some sort of um, patterns, patterned ones. There's like this floral um, or you can do this little like so very pretty and maybe the bird cage and new uh, permanent ink palette there. And maybe we'll do ground espresso. To go with our pink. More of the bird on that one. We'll switch to the flower. And again, I'm just kind of being random here. My Prima um, soft matte gel. And we're just going to kind of give a little bit of a, a gloss a coating to this. It's going to dry and then we're going to continue layering on that. Um, again, we're going to use an old destroyed paintbrush. Um, and this dries clear. Or even you can use your finger if you just want a little bit of the color. It didn't quite stamp very well. But, uh, all right, so kind of coming in here in the corners, just a little hint of it. A bunch of these little cogs and stuff that I think I got. Hobby Lobby or Joanne's or Michael's. <laughs> it might be Michael's actually. Um, 
Anyway, I'm going to grab one of these little, if I can get to it, like a little gold cog. Soft matte, medium, to adhere that down. Okay. And then that will be adhered down just like that. Um, what else can we put here? All right, I have a little container of like, I think I got these at Michael's. Um, they're like little cutout uh, confetti type situation. Um, I thought I'd try to sprinkle some of those maybe in the corner of this one. <laughs> I'm so messy right now. Um, Almost like a glitter idea. Whoops. <laughs> Lots of oopses. And then getting those off. Excess ones. They're kind of a coppery brown. As long as you can seal it under the glossy accents, you should be able to put it on there, I would think. That's my first shot at it. So, If you guys like making art tiles, leave a comment below. I'd love to, if you've got a channel there, I'd check that out and watch your videos and see what you do with yours. I'm going to leave that like that, so it's got some bling there. Uh, let's do... the air bubbles here. So I'm trying not to completely release my squeeze. You can kind of see it's sitting up on itself. It wants to stay. Um, I'm going to have to put this somewhere else because until it dries. I want to ink around the edges though. I forgot to do that. So let's go ahead and grab our ground espresso bag out. Let's see, where can you use these? You can use these on journals, you can use these on mixed media art projects. Um, you can just mount them on something and have them be their own little art. You can put them on cards if they're, you know, proportionally uh, not going to disturb the, um, you know, not going to be so heavy in relationship to your card. Um, you know, Put them wherever, on boxes that you make, or, you know, wood pieces. You could do, like, a shadow box um, scenario. Lots of lots of potential here. I'm just doing, like I said, this is my first time. I'm sorry if you're, if you're a long-time uh, art tile maker. <laughs> and I'm like, you're like, what is she doing? All right, this is my first shot, so... Um, but they're a lot of fun. It's like, it's like your, like, little mini canvases. It's your opportunity to try things out on a small scale. And then we're going to go ahead and have those dry, and then I'll meet you back. All right, so uh, they have dried overnight, and they are smooth to the touch now. And I've noticed, um, like, whoop, on this one I've got a couple little bubbles, so, um, and I accidentally touched it there when it was damp. But, but overall, I like how this one turned out. Now I didn't ink the edges of this one, so, but the ink did well here, and my little sprinkles that I had worked out really well. So overall, that one is fine. Here's the one where we put um, some of the jewelry uh, jump rings in there. So that one turned out pretty well. This is the one where we put the cog so um, with the bird cage, and I like how that turned out. Now that is on the one that I got from that store of scraps. Um, good sturdy chip, and uh, I like how that sturdiness is with this. It's just the right amount of weight. So um, next time I go there, I'm going to grab more of these. Um, but I like how that turned out with the birdcage and uh, the cog and the um, sort of distressed look around there. One I used, I put some rhinestones in here, so that turned out fun. I like how that worked. But I used Stampin' Up 
early espresso to stamp that. Now, in, in one respect, that looks kind of cool, smudged, but on the other respect, <laughs> uh, I didn't mean for it to smudge. So just bear that in mind to really use when you're putting wet on uh, on there to use um, something like this that isn't going to react with the um, water-based um, dyes so or inks. Um, which is what Stampin' Up! ink is, uh, the water-based dye ink. So um, so that did react, and you get a smudge. It's, it's fine. I mean, we can still use it. Um, I just would have liked to have that crisp, how I stamped it. So um, that is how those turned out, and again, that's one of those circles as well. These are the ones that I made that are thinner. I glued two things together, so that is um, a little bit that was helpful, because... Um, it definitely the amount of um, uh, glossy accents that we put on there um, will sort of get not weight to it in the sense of it's now it's heavy it's not heavy but um, in terms of bendability and things like that and strength uh, holding up to put on your projects and things so overall I like how they turned out that was my first shot at um, at little art tiles and I'm going to be doing more of that because I think that's fun it's great to be able to Again, it's like the resin idea, um, and you can do just about whatever with these. Make closures. You can mount them on a little in a little frame or something. Um, yeah, and I'm curious to try this with clay because I, I like to use polymer clay. So I think I'm going to be doing that as well. Anyway, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like art tiles, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Go ahead and visit my website at www.cynthiamaynard.com. And thanks so much. Have a great day.